Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Ollie Frantic 95 Thanks for the suggestion, Ollie. You asked what products are made from crude oil besides gasoline. While most people just picture oil as that stuff you burn to make your car go vroom, the truth is oil sneaks its way into way more places than your gas tank. In fact, it's hiding in your bathroom, your closet, your kitchen, maybe even in the device you're watching this on. So buckle up as we dig into the surprising ways crude oil transforms into everyday products right here on Explaining Everything. Let's start with the big one, plastics. Almost every plastic object in your life is basically just crude oil that went to finishing school. The journey goes like this. Crude oil is refined into chemicals like ethylene and propylene, which then get linked together to form polymers. That's the sciency way of saying, congratulations, you'll now have plastic, and plastics are everywhere. Your phone case, plastic. Your water bottle, plastic. The chair you're sitting on, while you wonder why you're watching a video about crude oil? Yep, plastic. It's wild to think that the same stuff fueling an 18-wheeler is also what's keeping your groceries from spilling all over the floor in a flimsy bag. Oil companies are basically like, we could power a jet engine, or we could make a rubber duck. Same source, different vibe. And plastics don't just stop at obvious things. Medical equipment, helmets, toys, credit cards. The modern world is basically an oil-based arts and crafts project. Here's where things get a little awkward. Check your clothes tag. If it says polyester, nylon, or acrylic, congratulations, you are currently wrapped in oil. That soft polyester hoodie you love. It started life deep underground as crude oil. Nylon stockings? Same deal. Even that waterproof jacket is just oil pretending to be fashionable. Synthetic fabrics became popular because they're cheap, durable, and can survive way more washes than grandma's hand-knit wool sweater. But it's still kind of funny that your comfy workout gear is essentially a very fancy fossil. And... The transformation process is kind of incredible. Crude oil gets cracked into building blocks like terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol, which are then spun into fibers. Next thing you know, you're buying yoga pants made from the remains of ancient plankton. So the next time someone compliments your outfit, you can say, thanks, it's actually a limited edition fossil fuel. That'll either impress them or guarantee you'll be eating lunch alone. Think crude oil is just for cars and clothes? Nope. Let's take a quick tour of your bathroom. That shampoo you used this morning? It probably contains petroleum-based ingredients. Same with your conditioner, lotion, and deodorant. Basically, your morning routine is brought to you by the same substance powering semi-trucks. Petroleum jelly? The name literally gives it away. Chapstick? Oil. That glossy lipstick? Oil, again. Even some toothpaste uses oil derivatives to help it keep its texture, which means you can technically say you're brushing your teeth with oil. Congratulations. You're part car. And it doesn't stop in the bathroom. Crude oil derivatives show up in detergents, cleaning sprays, waxes, and even candles. You think you're living a nice, cozy, eco-friendly life until you realize your ocean breeze candle is just crude oil.
cosplaying as the ocean. Now let's get into the sneakier places, oil heights. Sports gear, yep, footballs, tennis balls, even the artificial turf. It's all petroleum based. So technically, when athletes say they're fueled by energy, they're not wrong. Electronics, absolutely. The casings for your laptop, headphones and game controllers all come from petroleum based plastics. Without crude oil, your entire gaming setup would just be a pile of expensive microchips with no housing. And here's the kicker. Food. No, you're not eating straight crude oil, but many food packaging materials and even food additives are petroleum derived. That shiny wrapper keeping your chips fresh? Made with oil. Some food colorings and preservatives? Yep, oil sneaks in there too. So while you might not be pouring 10W30 motor oil on your fries, there's a chance the bright red dye in your gummy bears owes its existence to the oil industry. Bon appétit. So what products are made from crude oil besides gasoline? Turns out, almost everything. Plastics that shape the modern world fabrics you wear every day, toiletries in your bathroom, and even the gadgets and snacks you rely on. Crude oil is like that one roommate who shows up everywhere, sometimes helpful, sometimes annoying, but impossible to ignore. Sure, we think of it as fuel, but really, it's the backbone of modern life. From the clothes on your back to the couch you sit on, oil has sneakily turned itself into the unsung star of the everyday. So, the next time you pump gas, just remember, you're not just filling your car. You're fueling the entire weird, plastic, polyester, snack-wrapped, oil-powered reality we all live in. If this video piqued your curiosity and are now searching for things in your house made of crude oil, Maybe leave a like, subscribe, and no, humans are the exception of being made from crude oil. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.